Look, look, look at my dick pic. Look at my dick pic. Doesn't that look amazing? Look how fucking huge it is. Show, show I'm a fucking man. My giant cat. We only imaginary. Where are you? Alright guys, this is JJ Franco Zero One, and today I want to be reading some questions that some girls, you know, might have about a certain gender. All right, I'm getting these off of Cosmopo Cosmopolitan, Cosmopolitan, some shit like that. It's a website where it's just like common questions or frequently asked questions that girls have about guys' penises and how it feels, what it is, how it works, this and that, blah blah blah. Let's get to it. Our first question is by Eve Pacer. Literally, what does an erection feel like? Alright, if you want to know what an erection feels like, you get yourself a banana right here. You know, don't ask why it's like part yellow, part black. It was a little black Asian that came by. He offered to help me with this question. This is actually his actual penis. I said actually a little bit too long, but that doesn't matter. So now, this is exactly what it feels like, right? You know, just, this, this one is soft. Just, just ready to poking out like that. Oh, this but <coughs> Something was not right with that banana. Well, the point is that an erection kind of feels like your, you know, your cack is too much for your skin, so it's just like pushing through everything, and it feels like your foreskin is just about to rip in half, and you know, it gets bigger. That's about it. You get a little horny. What was that? Yeah. How does it feel like emotionally? Uh, sexually, physically, that I explain physically, sexually, you just want to fuck whatever it is, it doesn't even have to have a hole, you just want to go up to it, and you make a hole within, within it. Question number two, what happens when you're feeling horny and you're wearing jeans? Where does it go? Does it hurt? Well, I don't know what you mean, where does it go, it, it's, it's a cock. It stays with you. It's not like it physically leaves your body and like walks around and fiddles all over the place. It doesn't go up and randomly inserts himself with wh whichever girl has a skirt or whatever the fuck. If you're a guy, well, whichever dude just has a, you know, a loose asshole. <laughs> a loose asshole. <laughs> well, depending on uh, what kind of jeans it is, if it's a guy wearing skinny jeans, because I was a guy who wear really baggy and then went to really skinny and I'm just like somewhere in the middle, somewhere comfy but still fashionable. So when it's really baggy, you, no one notices you, like, you, obviously you feel it, but it's not like it's obvious pushing out through the jeans and anything. If you're wearing skinny jeans, you're kind of fucked because that's, like, pressing against your leg and everything. Like, if this, if these were jeans, it'd be right next to my leg and it wouldn't be able to move. So, if I tried even going like this, shit would not happen. If I go this way, try to go back down, I will physically poke a hole right through the jeans. Make a whole new... You know, the little zipper, the zipper just breaks and it just fucking waggles, wiggles like this. Other than that, uh, probably hurt if you're, if you got some good made, so like some well tailored or well whatever the fuck jeans. Um, does it hurt? If it's skinny jeans, hell yeah. If it's somewhere between, easy to hide, but doesn't poke out extremely. And other than that, doesn't really hurt as much. So I'll get yourself some that fits a little comfy and doesn't show as much. Or just control your cock. Number three, balls. What are they good for? Do we squeeze them, leave them alone? All right, depending on the guy, some guys are into dominatrix. If you don't know what dominatrix is, that means like... I'm being on a level with you here. My neighbors heard me saying dominatrix and tell me why it started knocking my front door. And dominatrix is just talking about, not really talking about, it's a sexual act where you don't actually fuck. It just like shows which ones are small, which ones are big, and I'm not talking about cock sizes or how you know loose or tight the vagina is. I'm actually talking about who's in control and who's the receiver, I guess. I don't know the proper names for them. I'm not into this myself. But you pretty much whip them, hit them with a paddle, kind of torture them in a sexual way, which is really fucked up, but you don't actually fuck them. At least that's what Google says. But but if you're into dominatrix and then into fucking, you can do both, but that's not officially what dominatrix is, I believe. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on this. I'm just a 19-year-old boy, but anyway... Do you squeeze them, dude? Guys, do they squeeze the balls when y'all fuck? Well, I mean, 
ask the doc, ask the guy personally. It'll fucking hurt. You're, you're squeezing, you know, your kids or his kids. What if you lost kids? You're, you're gonna physically strangle your kid before they're even born? What kind of fucking animal are you? God. Leave him alone. Personally, leave him alone. Don't touch my balls. Unless you suck on him. Fourth question. Do you ever feel weighed down by your penis? Alright. Um, I don't know if you know this, but we're born, you know, it, it, we just don't buy one off the store and then attach it to our crotch. It, we're, we're physically born with a penis. And we, we kind of just manage. We turn, and it comes with us. I don't, I don't feel like it's a, it's not like I'm fucking carrying this shit around like this. I mean, it, it doesn't physically weigh me down. Then when I got to the floor, I got to push the shit and slowly, you know, have the tip just grind it on the floor. We just manage. We don't have a 30, do a 30 pound cock. Number five. Do you feel like, do you feel it dangling off your body? Yes. If it, you have no control. It's not like your arm where you can physically move every part of it. You want to move this? Boom. You want to move this? Boom. You want to move this? There you go. You don't have control of this. You, some guys learn the martial arts of horniness. So they couldn't control like, if they're turned on or not. I thought I saw uh, someone over there freak me out. But it's not like you can control um, if you want to go up, down. I mean, you could if you like tingle the ball sack a little bit. Boing! Other than that, you can't really control, you know, how you move your cock. Some guys can just move the base so, it, so if it's already turned on, then you can make it go. Other than that, they can't go halfway and make it bend like this. That's some freak of nature shit. Number six, do you have a good relationship with your penis? What the fuck does that mean? Number seven, are you paranoidly anxious about size? I don't give a shit. <laughs> they're, they're gonna take that the wrong way. Hold on, cut that out of the video. <laughs> it's not what I meant. It came out bad. <laughs> are you paranoid about the size of your penis? Well, the average size worldwide is like 3.5 inches, something like that. I gotta do the facts. Average penis size worldwide. In a study of penis size where measurement were taken in a laboratory setting, the average penis circumference when erect was 4.8 inches. Which means that the average width of the erectile penis is approximately 1.5 inches? What? No. What? This is backed up by sources, so I don't know. But the last time I saw I thought it was worldwide 3.5 and then in the US it was about 5, 4.11, some, something like that. But it doesn't matter what the size of your penis is. Or you can find the martial arts of penis insertion. This is science, by the way. Fucking gonna blow your mind right now. All you need is three inches for the girl to hit her G spot. And yes, it exists. Hey, do you ever get worried it'll get crushed if you sleep naked and roll over? No, no man. Question number nine, do you ever just play around with it? How fun is that? Do you just play around with it? It's called masturbation. And yes, it's fucking fun. <laughs> Neighbors are gonna think I'm fucking weird. Number 10. How do you feel about jizz, generally speaking? Well, jizz... Jizz is a special thing. When you first start doing it, it's the most amazing thing in the world. You can ask for anything better. You jizz all the time. You jizz everywhere. Jizz in your sock. You jizz in the toilet. You jizz everywhere. Inside your, your goldfish. And then the goldfish start eating it. Alright? It's an amazing feeling at first, but there are people who are addicted to it and they don't get the same amount of pleasure it is masturbating for the 5 millionth time in their life. And that, and that's the same for sex. The more you have sex, the less, you know, the less good it feels, I guess. The first time fucking blows your mind. You can't do shit. You're just like, ugh. Oh. And then after your 5,000th time, you're like, that was good shit. And you know, they're still good. I'm not saying the feeling automatically goes away, but it's just not the same. It, it would never be the same after you just. So keep this in mind, guys. If you just one time, you're never gonna have that same feeling again. It's gonna be worse every time you do it. So don't do it that so many times. Wait for your girl. Wait for her to get into your life. Wait till. Just. Fuck. What was I going with this? Number 11. Can a penis, penis be feminist? I'm not gonna touch that. 
I touched about wayward subjects and I say wayward things in my other videos. 12. Do you ever accidentally sit on it? Uh, on the penis itself? No. On the balls? Yes. Alright, the first time I sat on my balls was after a track. Like, I was in track uh, my freshman and sophomore year of high school. So after I ran my mileage, I came back. I was fucking exhausted. I was, I was a new kid. And they gave me hell for it. So, I didn't want to drop down. I just flop. Alright, I didn't give a shit. I just went back. But because of all the sweat, and how hot it is. Alright, girls, if you don't know this, guys, I know you know this. If you, your body temperature increases, your balls drop a bit more. And if your body starts getting cold, it's obvious your balls, you know, go up. Or if it's really cold, it just goes inside of you. And that's fucking painful. But, because I was running and it was a hot day, there was that low as they can go for a little freshman me. So, I planted myself down. Little did I know... Then my fucking balls dropped at the same time, that same day. So, no. the amount of pain that came out because of this, I passed out. I'm not even gonna bullshit you, I passed out. For the first second, boom, I was gone. Alright? Apparently no one noticed. Because right when I sat down, I kind of flung back at the same time. My body reaction, body I love you, thank you for saving my ass. My body flung back. So, I wasn't sitting on my balls, obviously. And then, I woke up, blurry as vision, like everything around me. I was, I was like if I was in space, I was seeing stars. And then the second time, I was sitting on the couch with my friends. We were just drinking soda, playing video games, doing the regular shit. Sat on my balls again, not as rough. Because after that day, I was always cautious. But, because of the amount of like, you know, I wasn't focused on not sitting on my balls that day. I was focusing on having fun with my friends. Kind of sat on them, jumped right back up. Nah, man, you ain't got shit. I'm gonna beat your ass on people all day. Call of Duty, let's go. You're gonna, you ain't got shit on <laughs> I'm good. Nah, I'm good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just fucking around. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Number 13. Is one ball bigger than the other? If so, do you have a favor? Yes, one testicle is always bigger than the other. Don't know why. Don't know how. Don't know if it's, you know, generally the same testicles as every other man out there, but one ball is going to be lower than the other one. Do I have a favorite one? No. I treat them all equally. Ball quality. Number 14. Why do you love taking so many pictures of it? Who the fuck? Do you mean dick pics? It's not all guys. It's just fucking savages out there trying to show the cock to girls because no one else would fondle their balls. And, a, and one reason, one theory actually that I have about guys who take pictures of balls they're constipated, they're constipated, they're constipated, alright? They, they don't have a, generally the biggest dick out there, so all they want to do is put it as close as they can to make it look as big as possible. Last question for this part. Question 15. Why don't you respect your penis enough to, to at least taste flattering, to, oh, to at least take flattering pictures of it? Kind of goes by the last one. These fucking savages don't know how to take pictures because they have small penises. So all they want to do is make it look make it look as big as possible. So they pretty much slap it right on the dick and that's about it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I want to take this picture. There we go. Look, look, look at my dick pic. Look at my dick pic. Doesn't that look amazing? Look how fucking huge it is. Show, show on the fucking man. My giant cat. Alright guys, this is going to be it for this part. I want to do a part two because there's a lot more questions than I initially thought. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, y'all come back, and I'll see y'all later.